Hey, hey Capricorn. Thank you for joining me for your August readings. So, we'll be doing two readings as usual, but I'm going to change up the first spread. So let me know in the comments how you feel about that, if you enjoy it or if you liked it the old way. And then we'll be following up the same way as usual with your fiercely focused spread to kind of zoom in and get some action steps for the month. I know you Capricorns dig that concrete action. Wow. And then your first card hops up to the top of the deck. The Emperor. Pretty appropriate. All right, all right. We still got some shuffling to do and a few more cards to pull. But good to know, eh? Eh, Capricorn? That's who you are coming through as this month, the Emperor. Okay. So let's see, what are the energies around Capricorn this month, Spirit? What do they need to know for their highest good? What do they need to know to live their happiest, most loving, honest, creative, joyful life? Capricorn, August, Capricorn, in the month of August. All right. Now the fun part. Capricorn. Capricorn. What do they need to know, Spirit, for their highest good? The highest good in the month of August. Okay. Woo! Big wow, okay. Sorry, you have all the major arcana. Huh? right up front. Wow. Okay. Shoo. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for all the sound effects you're going to see in just a second. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wow. Capricorn. A beneficial change on the horizon is what Spirit is saying to me, and uh, I feel pretty excited for you. I feel like a lot of you, you know, as I said right in the beginning, you're coming through as the Emperor, and your reading is crossed by death, by the end of a chapter. This is significant. This is over. And it feels to me like a chapter in your life that you have chosen, for the most part, of course, you know Capricorn, this is not a one-on-one -on -one reading, so I'm getting a few messages, but the overwhelming energy that connects all Capricorns is saying that the vast majority of you have very recently committed to something. Like, I'm done with this. Or, like, it really feels like an I'm done. Um, because Spirit is saying, like, you're feeling the, the reverberations. It's almost like the aftershocks of the death. And, I mean, even though I'm talking about aftershocks, death is shocking. You know what I mean? But, I mean, <laughs> death connected here to an awakening. You had an awakening, so you put something to death, okay? Death and rebirth. Hello, dead rising from the grave over here in judgment. You have risen, Capricorn. You've come awake about some things and put an end to some things. And it feels to me like in August, you really need to zero in on what you want to manifest in your life because you have amazing powers of manifestation right now. Sun card is showing up in your unconscious, which is a powerful place to have the sun because the sun brings light to things, right? It makes things clear. And when we can recognize our deepest fears, our deepest desires, that stuff that we either repress or don't know about in ourselves because we're so busy, you know, focusing out here that we don't, you know, sometimes we don't even know ourselves that well. and you can have some epiphanies this month if you can get really deep and clear about who you are and what you want. What journey do you want to be on, Capricorn? How you is this? Like, you know, you little mountain goat scaling those mountains. Here's the hermit at the top of a snowy peak. 
where most of us will only look up and admire the kind of journey that he is willing to go to to know himself. And I just want to show you, because this is cool, that if you look closely inside his lantern, it's not just any old bulb or even a flame, it is in fact the star who also shows up in your reading. A new sense of hope and purpose and faith is what a lot of you are going to be experiencing this month. And the, the getting clear with yourself has to do with, uh, in part, getting your life in order. And for some of you, I'm feeling like you've already been doing this, like you've been in emperor phase for a little bit, and like spirit is just giving you like green lights and thumbs up. And for those of you who haven't been feeling very emperor-y, now is the time to get your life in order. Now is the time to be like, what kind of routine do I need to achieve what I want to achieve? Um, you have the seven of cups hovering over the top of your reading saying, you know, you've got a lot of options and a lot of desires and a lot of ways that you could go, but they're not all beneficial. The Seven of Cups is about muddy waters and unclear priorities. And the Emperor, on the other hand, is ruthless. Um, the way that you can be ruthless in terms of, well, this is what's useful. I don't need any of that or this is lower priority, we'll get to that if we can, but we need to do these two or three things. I feel like a lot of you are making a dramatic shift in your approach, even some of you the way that you're making your money, and you that is a very, 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 very fruitful thing for you to do this month. You are opening up new windows of opportunity new ways of making money. Um, and it feels for a lot of you, it's like what Spirit is kind of showing me are like tradespeople. And that can be many things. That can be a carpenter, that can be a hairdresser, that can be a photographer, uh, that could be a manicurist. There are many, many, many different ways to make money off of our skills. And I feel like a lot of you are working and focused on that this month. Um, it is to your benefit. The Emperor is a power card and he's also a wealth card. Um, and Spirit, when I said that, it said stacking. Like stacking up the cash fast when it comes to the gas. If you know what I'm talking about, I love you. <laughs> Please let me know in the comments. Okay, but really, honestly, it's like saving up. Saving up, stacking up, um, not just your cash, but all of your resources learning and stacking onto your skills and now like as I'm saying that spirit is even reminding me of this nerdy phrase of stacking habits um, which is a very simple which the Emperor likes simple um, a very simple way of basically taking yourself through maybe a productive routine in the morning for example like okay well when I wake up first thing in the morning um, I know my body's thirsty so I chug a big glass of lemon water, and because I just had all that lemon water and I don't want it to wear away the enamel, then I brush my teeth, and after I brush my teeth, like da, 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 like you stack things on top of each other that make sense. Like for example, at night, uh, before I go to bed, I always like, you know, shut down my computer and then I clean off my desk, like so that the next morning it's clean, and after I clean off my desk, like, you just stack up those little habits that make sense together that lead you to just having a cleaner, clearer, more orderly life. Um, you're saving your cognitive juices, which we do have a limited amount of that really good, like quick witted, creative sort of thinking juice in a day. So if you can take some, hello, <laughs> if you can take some of these factors out of the equation, you save your juice, for the really good, important stuff, okay? So I see a lot of you making a beneficial change when it comes to your money. Some of you might be like saving and investing and like paying off debts and things like that because I'm kind of getting a sense of like moving money around, like, okay, I'll save this until next month and I'm gonna go ahead and put that money into this like credit card or whatever that is high interest or whatever. Like it just feels like you're moving your money around in a beneficial way. And it also feels like I said, like you're receiving either more money 
or the way that you're building your resources is leading you to a place where you're going to be receiving more money. Um, and I also see you working with somebody who feels very um, humble and practical and hardworking. And um, it's, it's interesting because, you know, you're showing up as the emperor, but Spirit is, is showing me a certain degree of admiration for this person. So maybe, maybe they're younger than you, and that might be why you're like, wow, look at them, like, at that age, like, and they're working this hard, like, that's inspiring. You know what I mean? It's like humbling in a really good way. Um, they might be helping to refresh and inspire uh, your own passion and your own, like, your own compass, like, <coughs> I'm just staring and like marveling because, um, you know how I picked up the, the star and the hermit earlier and showed them to you. And then we have that same star reflected again here at the end of your reading in the Ace of Cups. A little insignia here on the side of the cup. You're walking towards something great, Capricorn, and it's by taking these simple, practical, very self, like, um, very focused steps. So if you can withstand the temptation to scatter your energy this month and instead be focused and stack that cash, stack those habits, stack those skills, you are going to be like stacking money and eventually it leads to this new opportunity and it feels like a very happy breakthrough. The Ace of Cups is a rush of emotion and I feel like what, what I'm feeling right now is like awe, like A-W-E, just a sense of like, almost as if somebody is giving you some kind of gift or some kind of, um, if it's not a gift, it might be an opportunity or an invitation that you're just like, me? That's for me? <sighs> Surpassed my expectations. That's what that feels like, okay? Pretty exciting. I don't know. Let me know. Comment below. I want to hear. And you know what? All of this progress is as a result of you making that beneficial commitment to put something in your past and be done with a certain way of doing things or like an outmoded thought and behavior pattern is kind of what they're giving me. So wonderful job to those of you who've already done it, which I feel that it's a lot of you. And for those of you, like I said, that don't feel like you're there yet, please take this as a very girding message for what is possible if you really like drill down and zero in and focus on what you want and not comparing it to anybody else. You are your own emperor. You build your own empire. It needn't look like anybody else's. It needs to be what you want. That is what's going to lead you to true success. And that is what Spirit is saying. I'm not just giving you adages. That's what they're saying is like, do what you want to do. Really, I've said this to you before, Capricorn, but they're saying it again. Follow your bliss. And I'll say this again in case you didn't hear it, because I know, Capricorn, that for you, especially hearing a phrase like, follow your bliss, can sound very like airy fairy and not sensible. But it's exactly sensible because it's like only your bliss is something that you can pursue with passion even through the dips, the lows, the doubts. It needs to be something that inspires you. And if you're lucky, it can be the thing that makes you money. But even if it's not the thing that makes you money, you still need to do your bliss because it is taking you somewhere. It is taking you towards something better. Okay. All right. Spirit just went off. Preach. <laughs> Okay, all right, so now let's look at your fiercely focused spread. See, first of all, which, wow, wow, I already saw it, wow. Came flying out like, okay, I'm ready, I'm done. Can't make this shit up, Capricorn. Judgment, commitment, rebirth. <laughs> okay, so spirit, just really seriously, literally, this, the Evanescence song, Bring Me to Life, like, just started playing in my head. But really, 
following your bliss brings you to life. Doing what you feel like, this is me. I love this. I'm committed to this. I want that. Like, woo, that's going to fill you with power. Commitment is a powerful energy. And I'm talking in the woo-woo sense. Of course, it's very, very powerful in the mundane sense too. But in the woo-woo sense, it's kind of like uh, in a good way. Well, I mean, a good way depending on what you're focusing on. It's like putting on blinders. And it's kind of like for the, for the universe, like you've just set that intention. And it's like, cool, is this the tunnel you want to go down? <sighs> you know what I mean? Whereas if we're like, well, kind of like this sounds cool and like, well, that would be neat. And I don't know, though, would I be good enough to do that? And it's just kind of like we take that energy, this wonderful, like innate energy that we have. And we just kind of like <clears throat> disperse it, you know, so <laughs> be like, I should have two little orange cones. Pick something and go after it and make it your bliss. OK, so now Capricorn, I know bliss and woo. But now let's talk about money. Let's talk about concrete things, resources. I feel like someone is giving generously to you this month, making a generous offer, and it's because you're worth it. I'm not trying to be a L'Oreal commercial. Is that the right brand? I'm, that's what they said. Someone's making you this offer that's going to sound very generous, but they want you to know, like, yeah, it is. It's very generous, not taking away from that, but you are worth it. They wouldn't offer it to you if you weren't worth it. Money. Money, money, spirit. What do you want to tell Capricorn about their money this month for their highest good? Is there a step they should take, a person they should confer with? Beautiful. Holy hell. Okay. So what was I saying where I'm like, I'm seeing like a craftsperson, somebody who does their thing and makes money off of it. Literally the only card in the deck for the self-employed successful person, like the individual. And this doesn't mean that nobody helped you, but it means that you're the one doing the lion's share of the work, so you get the lion's share of the money, and you get to look around and be proud of what you've done. So whether it's the money that you're proud of, or the upgrade in your skills and the work that you've done, you're going to be feeling pretty fucking proud of yourself, Capricorn. If you do your emperor work, if you make that commitment, that is pretty exciting. That's a good place to be, Capricorn, and a place you love to be, feeling like justifiably proud of yourself. Like, shit. Even I can't critique this. Like, I'm awesome. Look at that. I did that. Alright. So now let's look at your mind. What are you thinking about, talking about, hearing about in August? What does spirit want you to know for you to have your highest, best life? Person, situation, conflict, question. Conflict and a question. Understandable. Okay, look, you had the Seven of Cups. And this, the Two of, of, of Swords can be about a stalemate. Feeling stuck and feeling like maybe, like what Spirit is saying is like, I don't have enough information to move forward. Well, Bully for you, Capricorn, that we are living in the age of information where everything is at your fingertips. Ask somebody. Dr. Google, how do people do this? Literally, really, like almost anything. And you will find somebody talking about it or asking about it, and you guys can confer about it. Um, like I said, I feel a connection to the Seven of Cups with this card. Like not being able to choose between two things and therefore like i said you stay in a stalemate and you don't want to do that capricorn um you want with this like nothing happens in a vacuum okay like you can think in sterile conditions all day about what it might feel like or be like to do something you're never going to know while it's in your head you got to go get your hands dirty and like and my point being if you're like i want to be a champion rollerblader i know i'm going to be amazing at it but you've never rollerbladed get some rollerblades and get outside and try it and if you like love it awesome and if you don't then you'll know and you can throw that cup out and look at the remaining six cups and, and be like okay so it's not that so what is it i know nobody wants to be a champion rollerblader anymore i'm talking about like what is your thing and give it a shot get your hands dirty do the thing to find out if it's for you blog for a month or whatever vlog for a month 
do whatever it is, put a routine behind it like the Emperor said, and see if that's what you, that's the empire you want to build or not. You know, we're all building something every minute of every day, we're doing something with our energy. What is going to be your body of work? Okay. So now, let's look at your heart. Let's look at your relationships. Does Spirit want to talk about friendship, romantic love, family, a person you feel deeply for, or a certain emotion or emotional exchange that they want to highlight for your highest good? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising for their highest good spirit in the month of August. Nice. You got some good help. Somebody very compassionate, sensitive, emotionally intelligent. For some of you, this is like a partner. Um, the King of Cups, again, this person, uh, this person could identify any way that they want to. Gender-wise, a woman can be the King of Cups just as well as a man can be the Queen of Cups. It's about their attitude. And this is a person who has a very, like, stable, and Spirit just used the word stately, kind of thing about them, so you you admire the way that they carry themselves and behave. Um, again, very emotionally intelligent and like sensitive and compassionate, but not in a I'm going to sit down and cry with you way, but more like a psychologist of like, well, why do you think that happened? That sounds really hard. How are you dealing with that? You know what I mean? And they help you find things for yourself. That's a wonderful kind of partner to have, somebody who really fosters growth in you. And if this isn't a partner, this might be just a dear, dear friend or somebody that you may encounter in August who helps you see parts of yourself that you weren't able to see clearly. Either way, I really like this person. I get a really good vibe from this card. Um, And you know what Spirit just said that I like is like this person has kind of a sly sense of humor. It's very understated. Like, I like it. I like it. Who is this? Like, it's a very, like, maybe they don't talk that much, but when they do talk, it's like, oh my god, did you just say that? Like, that's hilarious. <laughs> I like it. All right. So finally, Capricorn, let's see what is firing you up. What is energizing you? Is it a challenge? Is it a change? Is it a competition? Is it a brilliant idea? Or perhaps a compelling person? What is going on in the fiery realm? The inspiring and creative realm for Capricorn? What do they need to know about? Woo! All right, I haven't seen it yet. We're, we're gonna find out together. Ready, ready, ready? Beautiful, wow. <sighs> okay, so Befitting that you're an emperor and you have two kings around you. Another ally. The king of wands is charismatic, a leader, probably uh, an entrepreneur of some kind because that's, that's just their kind of spirit of like, I mean, talk about somebody who knows how to follow their bliss. That, the king of, of wands in your life is somebody that you're like, look at you. Look at you fucking doing it. You're amazing. And this person is fostering again in a different way than the King of Cups, but fostering your growth, your creativity, your like passion and your aim in life. Uh, this person can help you, Spirit just used the phrase, transform your work ethic. So this person might have information about like routines or you might just see the way they do it and model their behavior, but in one way or another, they're going to influence the way you do your work and, and your pursue your passion. And it's like personally and professionally fulfilling. How good is that? Poof! I like it, Capricorn. Keep me posted, please. Like I said, um, I really appreciate your likes, your comments, any kind of feedback you guys want to give. Um, or if you want to find me on social or ever book a personal reading, all my info is in the description box below. I thank you for being here, Capricorn. It's always a pleasure. And if I don't see you in another video this month, then I hope I see you in September. Bye!